Hello everyone and uh, welcome to our story time today and well we have another Leo Leone book to read and last time we read a book with a medal on it and that means it's a really good book and I enjoyed it that was inch by inch well this one today is another Leo Leone book with a medal on it and that medal is Caldecott honor book so Leo Leone he keeps making good books over and over again this book is about mice and the title is Alexander and the wind up mouse do you know what a wind up mouse is it's one you turn the key and it goes it's just a toy it's not a real mouse okay help help a mouse there was a scream then a crash cups saucers and spoons were flying in all directions alexander ran for his hole as fast as his little legs would carry him all alexander wanted was a few crumbs and yet every time they saw him they would scream for help or chase him with a broom well that's not very nice who's alexander a real mouse. One day when there was no one in the house, Alexander heard a squeak in Annie's room. He sneaked in and what did he see? Oh, another mouse. But not an ordinary mouse like himself. Instead of legs, it had two little wheels and on its back there was a key. Who are you? asked Alexander. Hmm. A new character. I am Willie, the wind-up mouse, Annie's favorite toy. They wind me to make me run around in circles. They cuddle me, and at night I sleep on a soft white pillow between the doll and a woolly teddy bear. Everyone loves me. They don't care much for me, said Alexander sadly, but he was happy to have found a new friend. Let's go to the kitchen and look for crumbs, he said. Oh, I can't, said Willie. I can only move when they wind me. But I don't mind. Everybody loves me. Hmm. Well, he gets to sleep in bed, and Alexander gets to sleep in the wall. Alexander, too, came to love Willie. He went to visit him whenever he could. He told him of his adventures with brooms, flying saucers, and mouse traps. Willie talked about the penguin, the woolly bear, and mostly about Annie. The two friends spent many happy hours together. Who's Annie? Jack and Annie? No, this is Annie, the girl that sleeps in this bed. But those are her toys. But when he was alone in the dark of his hideout, Alexander thought of Willie with envy. Ah, he sighed, why can't I be a wind-up mouse like Willie and be cuddled and loved? Do you know what envy means? means you're jealous. Do you know what jealous means? It means you want to be someone. You want to have what they have. Because Alexander wants to be loved like Willie is and sleep in the bed. One day, Willie told a strange story. I've heard, he whispered, mysteriously, that in the garden, at the end of the pebble path, close to the blackberry bush, there lives a magic lizard who can change one animal into another. Do you mean, said Alexander, he could change me into a wind-up mouse like you? That very afternoon, Alexander went into the garden and ran to the end of the path. Lizard, lizard, he whispered. And suddenly there stood before him, full of the colors of flowers and butterflies, a large lizard. Is it true that you could change me into a wind-up mouse? asked Alexander in a quivering voice. When the moon is round, said the lizard, bring me a purple pebble. What's a pebble? Yep, it's like a rock, like a stone. For days and days, Alexander searched the garden for a purple pebble. In vain, he found yellow pebbles and blue pebbles and green pebbles, but not one tiny purple pebble. Hmm. 
Guess he's not going to become a wind-up mouse. At last, tired and hungry, he returned to the house. In a corner of the pantry, he saw a box full of old toys. And there, between blocks and broken dolls, was Willie. What happened? Alexander asked, surprised. Willie told him a sad story. It had been Annie's birthday. There had been a party, and everyone had brought a gift. The next day, Willie sighed. Many of the old toys were dumped in this box. We will all be thrown away. Alexander was almost in tears. Poor, poor Willie, he thought. But then, suddenly, something caught his eye. Could it really be? Yes, it was. It was a little purple pebble. Now what can he do with a purple pebble? He can go to the lizard and wish to become a wind-up mouse. All excited, he ran to the garden. The precious pebble tightened his arms. There was a full moon. Out of breath, Alexander stopped near the blackberry bush. Lizard, lizard, in the bush, he called quickly. The leaves rustled, and there stood the lizard. The moon is round, the pebble found, said the lizard. Who or what do you wish to be? I want to be... Alexander stopped. Then suddenly he said, Lizard, lizard, could you change Willie into a mouse like me? The lizard blinked. There was a blinding light, and then all was quiet. The purple pebble was gone. Why would Alexander want to wish Willie to be a real mouse? Well, he was going to get thrown away. But he's going to have to live in the wall. Alexander ran back to the house as fast as he could. Oh, oh no. The box was there, but alas, it was empty. Too late, he thought, and with a heavy heart, he went to his hole in the baseboard. The baseboard's on the wall by the floor. I guess Willie got thrown away. This is a sad book. Something squeaked. Cautiously, Alexander moved closer to the hole. There was a mouse inside. Who are you? asked Alexander. A little frightened. Who is that? My name is Willie, said the mouse. Oh. He didn't get thrown away. Willie, cried Alexander. The lizard, the lizard did it. He hugged Willie and then they ran to the garden path and they were danced there until dawn. Well, you know what? Alexander wanted to be a wind-up mouse, but he saw Willie was going to get thrown in the trash. So instead of getting his wish, he wished for his friend and saved him. And guess what? They still have to live in the wall, but they're best friends and they love each other. All right, boys and girls, you know what? That was an excellent Leo Leone book, and I think it was my favorite so far. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Don't forget to do a win-win and be nice to your best friend.